Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with the recent release of the all-new Amazon Fire HD 10 and the HD 10 Plus. I figured it was time to do another tutorial on turning this into a real Android tablet or at least as close as we can get. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Google Play, disable the lock screen ads, install a custom launcher, and disable some of the built-in Amazon apps. I recently did a review on this tablet, and it's actually an excellent budget tablet. This is the HD 10 Plus for 2021, but this will also work on the HD 10. Actually, the method I'm gonna show you in this video works from the 2014 tablets on up to present day. Now real quick, before we get started, I just wanted to show you a little bit of a comparison. On the right hand side here, we have the 2019 HD 10. It's got those lock screen ads, it's in its stock form. On the left hand side, I've done all of the modifications over here. We have a custom launcher, Google Play, I've disabled some of the Amazon apps, and the lock screen ads are totally gone on this. In my opinion, I'd much rather have my tablet look like the left hand side than the right hand side. But for this video, you will need to use a desktop or a laptop to get this all installed because we're going to be using an easy to use application called the Fire Toolbox. So if you're ready to get started here, let's go ahead and do it. So before we move over to our PC and start modifying the tablet, there's one major thing we need to do on the tablet itself, and that's enable developer options. So we're going to head to settings. From here, we'll find device options, about Fire Tablet, and we're going to tap on the serial number about eight times. And what this is going to do is enable developer options. So we'll back up one. And now you'll see we have a new option called developer options. We'll turn this on. It'll give us a little bit of a warning. We'll choose OK. And from here, we're going to find USB debugging. We want to make sure this is on. Choose OK. And now we're ready to move over to our Windows PC and get Fire Toolbox set up. So now that we have USB debugging enabled on our Fire tablet, it's time to get the application downloaded. This is actually super easy to do. Link for this is in the description. It's an XDA post for the Fire Toolbox. As I'm making this video, it's actually version 17.1 and it will automatically update once we have it installed. I would definitely recommend going through and reading this, but as you can see here, this works from the Amazon Fire 10 2021 or the 10 Plus all the way from the Amazon Fire HD 6 from 2014. So basically, any of the tablets that have been released from 2014 to 2021, this will work with. We're going to scroll down until we get to the downloads. And like I mentioned, read through all of this. There's some great information. I'm going to go with the mirror. It's going to open up a Google Drive link. Just go ahead and download it. This is going to go directly into my downloads folder. And from here, we're just going to extract it. Fire Toolbox version 17. In the future, this will be higher. Right click. I'm just going to extract. We can go ahead and open this up and we have the Fire Toolbox folder. We'll launch this and start up the Fire Toolbox right here. This is the application we want to start. It's going to give us a little walkthrough. I would definitely read through all of this. It actually explains how to use this pretty well. So choose OK. You can choose your theme from here. I'm just going to leave everything stock. So we'll just choose Set Theme. It's going to relaunch itself. It installed ADB for us on our PC. It's also going to check for updates. And as you can see, this is a micro patch version 17.1. Download and install. Make sure you're online. This is just kind of a self updater. We'll choose yes. And it might actually give us a warning saying that it can't find the EXE. So I'm just going to head back to where we have it downloaded, start it back up. And from here, as you can see, we have no device detected. That's because it's not plugged into my PC yet. We have USB debugging on our Amazon Fire tablet. So we're going to plug it in using the included USB type C cable. So I'm just going to plug it in now. It's going to pop up, allow USB debugging on this computer. Since this is my personal computer, I choose always allow and then OK. And our computer is now going to detect the Amazon Fire tablet and it'll give us something that looks like this with Fire Toolbox. And now we can use Fire Toolbox on our Fire tablet. If you're a new user, choose no, I'm a new user. It'll give you a little walkthrough. But for me, I've used it before. And as you can see, there's a lot of options to choose from, but there's four main things that I use. The custom launcher, 
Google Services, which installs Google Play, Lock Screen Management, this is where we can disable those lock screen ads, and I also use Manage Amazon Apps and disable some Amazon apps that I don't normally use. But first things first, everybody's going to want to do this one. Let's install Google Play. We'll go to Google Services. Our tablet's plugged in. It won't work without it. Execute Tool. It's going to download everything for us and install it directly to our tablet. And just a quick note, I have had this freeze before. All I had to do was close down Fire Toolbox and start it back up and it would download it and install it no problem. But there we go. We now have Google Play installed. It's recommended that you give the Play Store at least 10 minutes before signing in. Let's just let it wait. We'll choose OK because we have a few more things that we're going to do. I personally like to make this as close to a real Android tablet as possible. So the next thing I do is install the custom launcher. So from here, I'll go to custom launcher. It's really up to you. You can leave the stock launcher if you want to. But uh, personally, I use the Nova launcher. There's a few to choose from. So I'm going to go with the Nova launcher and I want to disable the fire launcher altogether. I don't ever want to see it again on this tablet. Another thing I do is enable widgets. If you don't want them, leave it unchecked, choose yes. And again, it's going to download it and automatically install it to our tablet. Choose OK. And now lock screen management. We're going to get rid of those lock screen ads. And from here, we can change the lock screen wallpaper, remove the lock screen ads, or disable the lock screen altogether. I'm just going to disable the lock screen ads. Choose OK. We're going to back up. And the final thing I like to do is disable some of the Amazon apps. This is totally optional. I'm going to go to Manage Amazon Apps. And from here, if you want to manually disable some, you can see which ones we can disable. App names in green indicates an app is safe to disable or hide. And uh, we'll go through, you can see the Amazon App Store, they do not recommend disabling this one. So really what I do is I go back, manage Amazon apps. From the drop down here, we have two options, complete debloat or standard. I go with the standard debloat, which is recommended. We'll execute. And again, it's gonna handle everything for us. Choose OK, and we're done here. We now have a custom launcher, Google Play, lock screen ads are disabled, and we've disabled some Amazon apps. So we've got our Fire tablet as close to a real Android tablet as possible. And here it is, once it's finished up, we have that custom launcher installed. It's gonna ask us if we wanna do a quick setup. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'll just choose, actually we'll just go with the light theme. You can totally customize the Nova launcher. But uh, as you can see, it's going to look pretty plain Jane. You will need to get some applications installed and place them on the main screen. But since I've disabled a lot of Amazon apps, I don't have a lot to fill up with. But luckily, we have Google Play installed now, so we can download basically any app we want from the Google Play Store. And we've also kept the Amazon App Store intact, just in case you want to install some stuff from there. But let's go ahead and start up Google Play. Just like starting up any new phone, you will have to sign in with your Google account. You got to be online for this to work. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm signed into the Google Play Store and I'll just go ahead and download my first app. We'll go with IDA64. We'll install it. It's going to automatically download for us. And basically it's going to work just like any Android phone or any Android tablet with Google Play. We do have Google Play services installed. So if the app requires it, it will work. And if you did end up installing the Nova Launcher, we can totally customize this. I know it looks pretty plain Jane, and like I mentioned, that's because I don't have a lot of apps installed right now. This is kind of just a fresh install. But we can change the wallpaper, we can add widgets. And once you spend a little time with it, you can have something that looks like this. I mean, basically, we have a real Android tablet now. None of the Amazon Launcher is installed anymore. We got Google Play, no lock screen ads. This does make it much more appealing to pick up the 2021 Fire HD 10 or the HD 10 Plus. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. All links for everything I mentioned in this video are in the description. And if you're interested in checking out my full review on the Fire HD 10 Plus, I will leave a link for that in the description as well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.